we're gonna do some chemical equations, all right? And the first one that we're gonna do is called a synthesis reaction. Now a synthesis, I'm gonna write it down. Synthesis is very simple. The basic idea is A plus B, and then for your product, you end up with A, B. All right, now, a and B can be anything. It can be any element, but it has to be two things that are going to go together, all right? Now, for doing this reaction, we're going to use Legos. So I've got a bunch of Legos here. If you've got Legos at home, you can try this yourself because the nice thing about Legos is <coughs> they link together, and that's kind of like bonding. And so that's going to give us an idea of how things might link together. Now, I'm going to teach you my method. Now you can find YouTube videos that go through the same sort of idea. I haven't found any that also do Legos though. I like to put a line here and then whenever I start putting things down, I count them out. And so I wanna make sure that I have the same amount of A on this side of the line and I've got my line underneath uh, my arrow. The arrow is gonna be just like an equal sign in an equation. Everything on this side of the equation has to be the exact same number as what you get on the other side of the equation. That's because we cannot either create or destroy matter, okay? So let's go ahead and do a problem from a problem set. I'm gonna do uh, the problem set that you have today. This is gonna be number four. H2 plus O2 goes to water, H2O. So the first thing I do is I write out the equation like this and then I put blanks for numbers. Then the next thing I do is I go ahead and I write all of my different elements down. Now you don't have to know what the element is, but it's handy if you've memorized what these are. It's okay if you don't. You don't even have to use a periodic table for this today but I'm gonna put a line beside each of my elements because I'm gonna be counting atoms. I'm counting how many hydrogen atoms, how many oxygen atoms. Over here, how many hydrogen atoms, how many oxygen atoms. I want to end with the same number that I started with, okay? So now for step one, I'm gonna go ahead and put one in here and count everything up. If I'm lucky, it works, but usually it doesn't. Now over here in the hydrogens, we have two hydrogens, it's H2, and the number in front, we multiply it by that. So we end up with two hydrogens. Same thing over here. It's O2, so we take a one times a two and we get two. So I have two hydrogens, two oxygens. Over here, I have one hydrogen and one, or sorry, uh, two, hy two hydrogens and one oxygen. That doesn't match up though, does it? See, I've got two oxygens over here, only one oxygen over here. It's time for the Legos. Let's make this thing make sense with Legos. Okay, so I'm gonna use reds and blues to make this work. And so I've got H2, sorry, O2 and H2. This is two Legos stuck together. Here's two more Legos stuck together. Then over on this side for H2O, if I'm using <laughs> red for my H, there's H2O. So I've got H2 plus O2 makes H2O. And right now you can see that I don't have enough high, I don't have enough oxygens on this side. Here I have two oxygens, here I only have one. So what can I do to make this change? I'm gonna write the equation again. I'm gonna draw a big line, I'm gonna write the equation again, and you're gonna see just how easy this process is. my H is my O. This part is the part that's going to drive you nuts because it's a little bit tedious. When you're looking at it, you can tell I don't have enough O. I don't have enough blue Legos. Over here I've got two, over here I've got one. So I have to have more of those. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to go simple. I'm just going to double the amount of water. So now I've got two of those. All right. So when I do that, I've got H2 with the two, so that's a total of four, and I've got two oxygens, right? Now over here, I've got my blue Legos match up, those are my oxygens, fantastic, but now I don't have enough red. 
Well, guess what I can do? I can go ahead and put a two right here. So instead of one stack, I've got two stacks. When I do that, I get one, two, three, four red Legos, four H, and I've got one, two blue Legos. So in reviewing it, these numbers here can change. It's why I put the blanks is so I know the numbers I can change. I can't change these numbers at all. Also, the number that's in the front is multiplied by everything inside there. Just like I can have two stacks, but I'm not taking them apart. Over <clears throat> here, I have two stacks. I'm not taking them apart though. I'm dealing with them as the stacks, okay? When you're doing this, if you wanna watch the other videos, you're gonna see it's easier to make the stacks ahead of time and don't try to put them together in the mean, uh, while you're working. And if you need to, you can label them. You can put red and you can put blue out beside it if you need to. Or you could use a crayon or a marker and write the letters in the color if you need to. I hope this makes sense. This is for a synthesis reaction. On your problem set, there are some reactions that get a little more complex than this. And in some of them, you'll see that you're, you're not gonna take any of your stacks apart. Just make sure you make your stacks ahead of time before you start the problem. And we'll end with this one, and then I'm gonna go ahead and do the other, the other types of equations now. Thank you and good luck.